Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Celia would like to introduce you to Nicholas David. How are you feeling today over there? He started. I'm sorry, Cecilia. I think you sent that to the wrong person. OK, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. And where are you from, if I may ask? I'm in Durham, she said. I hope your friend or relative is OK. Yes, I'm a medical doctor from US, currently in Iraq now. I'm working under United States government. And you? What do you do for a living, if I may ask? I'm an administrator, she said. I work at the university here in Durham. OK, do you have kids? I'm a widow's with two daughters. And you, are you married or single? I'm a widow, said Celia. I have an adult son who lives in Sydney in Australia. What kind of doctor are you? I'm a medical doctor. Yes, you said, replied Celia. What kind of medical doctor? I'm 69 year old. And how old are you, if I may ask? What kind of medical doctor are you? Why haven't you retired? I'm 55. No, I'm still working all day of my life so that I can take care of my family. What kind of medical doctor are you? You mean you have to pay for your grandchildren? Take care of them. Can we be friends, if I may ask? What kind of medical doctor are you? How many grandchildren do you have? I don't have any one. Then why are you working to take care of grandchildren you don't have? What kind of medical doctor are you? He sent a photograph of a man in a swimming pool with two young girls. Now you have two grandchildren. Cecilia, I assume that's your son-in-law in the photo. They still go to school, he said. That's very kind of you to pay for their education. What kind of medical doctor are you? He sent another photo of a man with a young girl. That's the seventh time I've asked, she said. I'll now make you ask your next question seven times before I answer it, adding one extra time for each time you refuse to answer. Yes, I love them a lot. He said in reply to her, saying it was kind of him to pay for his grandchildren's education. OK. How many grandchildren do you have? She asked. One grandchildren. Who's the other girl in the photo? Your granddaughter's friend. One is my granddaughter and my daughter. OK. How old are your own daughters? She asked. OK. My son is 30. My daughter is just 16 years old. My goodness. Cecilia and her own daughters the same age as her. Miracles do happen. What kind of medical doctor are you? That's the eighth time I've asked. And ladies and gentlemen, for safety, I'll issue you with one of those warnings. If you're eating or drinking, probably best to swallow now before I read you his answer. I'm an operation doctor. I do operation for people. Oh, that sounds very impressive, Cecilia. You now have to ask me your next question eight times before I answer it. OK, can we be friends? It's windy today, she said. He said two thumbs up. OK, are you on Google Chat or WhatsApp? Autumn's here, she replied. Do you have a Google Chat app on your cell phone? The leaves have fallen, said Celia. OK, do you have an email address on your cell phone, if I may ask? The clocks changed a few weeks ago, she informed him. Can you count up to eight? Did they teach you how to do that in medical school? Yes. Are you on Google Chat? It's good that you can count to eight. It has to be the same question eight times. Can we know more about each other first? Celia came over all Shakespearean. From fairest creatures we desire increase, that thereby beauty's rose might never die. It's good that you can count to eight. It has to be the same question eight times. You could just think of a question and type it eight times. That's if you really can count up to eight. Advanced maths might be an optional module in med school, so you might not have taken it. Oh dear, she said a bit later. I assume eight is beyond your mathematical capabilities. If you type your question, I can count for you. OK, he said. Are you on Google Chat app? That's once, replied Celia. Do you still have the Google Chat app on your cell phone now? It has to be the same question eight times. No, I'm so sorry. You have to decide which question, she said. OK, I'm in love with you. That isn't a question, replied Celia. No one can be luckier than I am because I have the most beautiful person in my life. That also isn't a question, said Celia. Cassandra would also like to introduce you to Nicholas David. Thanks, Cassandra, for accepting my friendship request, he said a few weeks ago. Good morning.
Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thanks. That's good to know. Nice to chat with you. Why are you up this early? He said at quarter past eight in the morning, UK time. Sorry, where do you live? It isn't early and the clocks went back last night. I live near Barry St Edmunds in Suffolk. Where do you live? All right. Well, I live in Chicago, Illinois. You've got a very beautiful profile. How are your children and husband doing? Of course, that begs the question. Why is he up so early? Why didn't you think of that, Cassandra? How are you feeling today over there? He said a few weeks later when she'd ignored him. Hello. Why are you not answering me? Hello again, she said. When I realised it was the same person that Celia was currently talking to. OK, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. And where are you from, if I may ask? Same place I was when you last asked. OK, I'm a medical doctor from US, currently in Iraq now. I'm working under United States government. And you? What do you do for a living, if I may ask? I live on and around the family estate. I have 2,000 acres and mainly livestock. I breed ponies and cattle. OK, do you have kids and widows with two daughters? And you? Are you married or single? No, I don't have children and no, I'm not married. And widows? Do you mean you've been widowed more than once? To which our man replied, I'm 69 year old and how old are you? I'm 65 and that doesn't answer my question. Do you mean you've been widowed more than once? I do hope you aren't one of those boring men I keep meeting who ignores what is asked. Yes, I'm, he said. Oh, in that case you can go away and bore someone else. No, I'm not one of those men ignores beautiful lady like you. Goodbye. Make up your mind. You just said you are. No, I'm not. Then why did you say, yes, I'm? No, I'm not like those men ignores beautiful lady like you. Then why did you say, yes, I'm? And if you don't answer, then I'll know that you are one of those men. OK, she said a few minutes later. It's obvious you are one of those men. Goodbye. I don't have time for time wasters. Not. I didn't mean to say that. That's a typical error, because I was busy at work here and still trying to talk to you. Typical of what? Your inability to answer a simple question? No, I've been widower for just once, and ever since I lost my wife five years ago, I haven't been into any relationship. If it isn't typical of your inability to answer a simple question, what is it typical of? I said I was busy focusing at work here when typing you. That's a typical error, because I wasn't able to read your question very well, OK? Yes, but what is it typical of? That's a typical error, I said. Yes, I read that the first time. What is it typical of? Typical of your inability to type? Typical of the nonsense you type? I mean it's a typing error, don't you understand me? No, I don't understand you because you were typing rubbish and don't be rude. OK, it's all up to you. I'm not here for fighting or insult. I'm here to communicate with mature-minded people and I thought you were one. No, I'm not rude, but you don't have to be so rude to start insulting me because I didn't directly answer your question that I own you no answer. You run up on me with your words of insult so fast. Is that your real attitude? Said our mature doctor, obviously. Go away, it was you that typed something silly and refused to explain what you said goodbye. Oh dear, I mean really, come on guys, can you imagine having that conversation with a genuine doctor? The mind boggles sometimes, it really does. OK, I'm laid up with flu so I'm feeling ratty and bad tempered, but, you know, honestly, come on. I hope you enjoyed this silly little tale of a scammer who clearly had no idea what he was talking about. If you did, please like it, please share it. Please comment down below, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again in another video.